hi guys welcome to the next video of the stas tutorial series in the last video we checked some concepts on internationalization we saw different ways of accessing the message resource bundle in this video i want to give an example where a user can select a particular language and the user will be presented with a set of labels corresponding to that language i have taken the example of the login page i will have two links on top of this login page one for the english language and one for the hindi language which is an indian language so if the user clicks on the english link then username and password label comes in the login page while if he clicks on the hindi link then he gets as tumhara naam and tumhara password in the login page as the labels now let's see how to do this first let's work on the jsp to make this kind of arrangement so in our login.jsp we will create two stas2 url tags So these tags are basically used to store some action with an id we need to provide action element name in its action attribute then we can assign one id to its id attribute which we can use to refer to these urls from some else like start sign a tag or so so if you notice both of these urls are hitting the login action and each one of them is having one parameter request underscore locale associated with the url tag so what will happen if the user clicks on a link with an id as english url then login action will be triggered and en will be passed in the request underscore locale parameter similarly if a user clicks on the link with an id as hindi url then login action will be triggered and hi will be passed in the request underscore locale parameter now let's try to create two anchor tags and try to refer to these stats url tags in the href we just need to mention the id of the url tag in the percentage and curly brace so for english we'll use this english url tag for hindi we'll use hindi url tag now in our text field and password field what we are doing is we are accessing the message resource bundle to get the labels using the label attribute so for the user id field user dot id will be used as a key to get the label from the message resource bundle similarly for the password field user dot password key will be used to get the value of the label from the message resource bundle now let's build this project and test out our login action let's test this arrangement first Okay now you can see that we got two links here so now if you click on this english link then the login action will be triggered again and en will be sent in the request underscore local parameter similarly if you click on hindi then login action will be triggered and hi will be passed in the request underscore local parameter so we will get the same login dot jsp but having different labels depending on the request underscore local so so once the action class receives request underscore locale as its parameter then it sets this locale as en or hi based on what is passed to it 
Now locale is a field in every action class. In our class, these locales are just having the language code. We can even have the country code as part of the locale. So based on what locale was passed in the parameter, the framework will select the properties file. If the, lo if the request underscore locale is hi and the action class is login action, then login action underscore hi dot properties file will be searched and used as a message resource bundle. Because English is the default language, so no need of any language code in the properties file. So for the English or EN language code, default login action dot properties file can be used. This one. So in effect, we'll have two properties file. One is login action dot properties for the EN locale or for the English and for the HI or Hindi login action underscore HI dot properties file will be used. Then for our keys user dot ID and user dot password, we will be putting values in both of these properties files. Let's do that. Create these property files and put the keys and values there. We already have the login action dot properties. Let's create one login action underscore HI dot properties under the same folder. Okay, now in the login.jsp, when our text fields and password try to access the message resource using their key attribute, then it gets the respective values from their chosen resource bundle. So in the English case, it gets the user.id from the login action.properties and its value is username. While in case of Hindi, it gets the user.id from login action underscore hi.properties and it gets the value as apka naam. Now apka here is a Hindi word. Similar is the case with the password field as well. Now let's test this out. Let's build a project. Run this. Now click on this English. You can see the request underscore locale going as en and the label is username and password. Now click on Hindi. You can see we got the label as apka naam and apka password. So this is the way internationalization works. Based on the request underscore local parameter, the corresponding properties file is designated as the message resource bundle and whenever we ask for the labels or messages from our JSP or from our action class, then the values corresponding to our keys will be searched in that particular message resource bundle. So for different language, different properties files will be selected and that's how we get different labels or messages in our site particular to that language. And this is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.